Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and today I want to cover a topic that I've been getting quite a few questions on regarding uh, WooCommerce and specifically um, how do you install WooCommerce on your main WordPress site without affecting uh, the look and feel of your current site without having to change the theme of your main uh, WordPress site. So if you have a WordPress blog or a WordPress style business site um, and you wanted to add uh, a store to it uh, and sell your own products using a WooCom the WooCommerce plugin and a WooCommerce specific theme, is that possible? Um, and the answer is yes. And we're going to do that using subdirectory. We're going to create the store on a subdirectory and we're going to install a, a WooCommerce specific theme uh, for the store. Specifically, we're going to install this uh, WooStore theme, um, which is built for WooCommerce. So the example site we're going to use as our main website is uh, monets.com and this is it right here I just quickly set it up uh, as a demo site it's actually an elegant themes um, it's the trim theme by elegant themes uh, if you want to look closer into that it's a pretty cool theme I haven't done anything to it as far as customizing it yet at all except put a few slides in but we're gonna we're gonna just pretend that this is a main, my main business style uh, WordPress website and I want to um, add a store to this um, and I want to keep it on the same domain name, monnits.com, and I just want it to be monnits.com forward slash uh, shop. Okay, and then we'll just add a shop link here and one on the sidebar as well. And that would go to uh, our WooCommerce store that would use this theme. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And we're going to do we're going to do it from start to finish. Uh, and we're going to start by going to our hosting account and in this case I use Bluehost I, this will work with any hosting account and I should point out that this will also work with any WordPress theme whether you're using Elegant themes, uh, Woo themes um, or whatever uh, other style theme you're using uh, this process should work for you the same way and in this case I am using Bluehost for my hosting account so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just install another version of WordPress on this domain name mondits.com as a subdirectory so to do that, again, we go into our uh, hosting account, click on the uh, WordPress simple script um, to install it, just like you would a normal WordPress install. And then go ahead and scroll down and click on install. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just select uh, monnits.com because that's our demo site for this uh, example here. And then over here, I'm going to just call it shop. After the forward slash, I'm going to say shop. So this is where our WooCommerce site will be uh, found at monnits.com forward slash shop. And then I'm going to go ahead and just install it like I would a normal uh, install of WordPress. So you can see the simple script will go ahead and install that for me automatically and it's going to give me a whole new set of login credentials. And you'll notice the only thing that's different with these login credentials than our um, main login credentials is that it's monnits.com forward slash shop and then the uh, forward slash wp dash admin so we've essentially installed WordPress twice on the same domain name alright so I'm gonna go ahead and save this information because we're gonna whoops we're gonna need to use this to manage our store going forward to log into it so I would just recommend going ahead and saving that right away I'm gonna put it uh, in notepad here just to keep it simple try to keep this tutorial as short as possible so there's our login info so what I'll do is just go ahead and click on the login URL alright and once logged in uh, again you'll notice that we're now logged into the shop version or this this will be our WooCommerce store version uh, of monnets.com and so now what we need to do is let's go ahead and install our WooCommerce specific theme and in this case we're using the WooStore theme. This is a premium theme for WooCommerce. Uh, there's another a number of other uh, premium themes that are built specifically for WooCommerce uh, but there's also some free ones such as the Mistyle theme which is a, a very good theme, a very good free theme that's built specifically for WooCommerce. So now that we've installed a subdirectory version of WordPress on our main domain name monnits.com the next step is to go ahead and log into the shop uh, WordPress admin which we are in right now and install the WooCommerce plugin. So we'll go ahead and do that right now search for WooCommerce and you'll find the plugin should be the first one that pops up so here's the WooCommerce plugin go ahead and install it go ahead and activate the plugin after the plugins activated go ahead and install 
WooCommerce pages. Just click this link right here. All right, so now that WooCommerce is installed, the next step is to install uh, the WooStore theme. There it is, so I'll go ahead and install this. It's very important that you install it on the actual uh, subdirectory version of the domain name. So um, what we're going to do is just go ahead and click on uh, Ma Nits, and then we're going to click on Shop, and then WP Content and themes. That's where we're going to drop it into the themes folder. So we're just going to take uh, WooStore theme here and drag and drop it in. That'll go ahead and upload it. Okay, so after the WooStore theme has finished uploading, the next step would be to log back into the uh, admin for the shop and then just go to Appearance Themes. And you can see right here it has been uploaded. Go ahead and activate uh, your WooStore theme. And now that our WooStore theme has been activated, we'll go out to the site and just take a look and make sure that it's there. All right, so the next step would be to link up this uh, shop, which you can see is at monnets.com forward slash shop, to the main site, monnets.com. And you can do that a number of ways, uh, depending on the theme you're using for, the, uh, for your main WordPress site. Uh, you could put a link in the main navigation that just uh, that says shop or store or whatever you want to say and link it up to the shop. You could also put a link to your shop in the uh, right hand sidebar if you wanted to via the widgets or you could do both, have it in the main navigation and on the sidebar, whatever you want to do. There's many different ways you could link up the uh, shop to your main site. Um, in this case we're going to do it uh, via the use of custom menus. So if we go into uh, appearance and then menus, this theme supports uh, one custom menu, so we'll be able to make a, a fully customized uh, top navigation menu. So in this case, I just I already started it. I created a custom menu called shop. All right, and then I added a custom link right here, as you can see, um, and then I just put the URL to the shop. So again, this is our shop URL, mondids.com forward slash shop. I put that URL here. Um, so what I'd also want to do is have a link to whatever other pages on my main site that I want to link to. Uh, so in this case, I'd want to link to my uh, about page is another uh, main link that I would want. So I'd go ahead and do that. And then I'd probably want a home page link as well. Um, so we'll just create another custom link and that would be just back to the home page so it's easy to go back and then just call this one home add to menu and then you can drag and drop to arrange the pages however you want alright so once you have the custom menu set up uh, with your shop link in it go ahead and just save the menu so once that custom menu has been created go out to your main site and refresh the page and we should see um, the shop link show up in our main navigation. You can see right here we have home about and here's our shop link and if we click on that it should go to our uh, Woo theme or WooCommerce site and there is the Woo store so now you can go ahead and build your uh, your WooCommerce uh, store just like you would uh, with any other Woo WooCommerce store and again there's plenty of tutorials out on uploadwp.com that will show you how to customize this theme as well as some of the other WooCommerce specific themes um, but now you have uh, a store has been added to your main web WordPress website without having to actually change the look and feel of your main site at all and it stays on the same domain name um, <clears throat> one thing I'd want to point out would be you'd want to create a custom menu for the store as well uh, that would uh, have the home link go back to uh, monnets.com instead of monnets.com forward slash shop just so that <clears throat> uh, it's easy for uh, your site users to go back and forth from your store to your main site. Um, but linking up, in terms of linking up your main site to your store, there's plenty of ways you can do it. Um, again, I like doing it just by creating a custom menu and adding the uh, shop link to the custom menu. So the last thing I point out would be to just try and customize um, your WooStore theme or whatever theme you're using for your WooCommerce portion of the site uh, just in terms of the color of the fonts and look and feel as much as possible to uh, match the same font color or font styles and uh, color scheme as your main site just to make everything look uniform. The last important point to make is that regardless of the theme that you're using for your main WordPress site 
or for your WooCommerce store, this process should be the same. Um, and again, in this case, our main site was uh, built on an Elegant Themes, uh, the trim theme, and then we used uh, the Woo Store theme for our WooCommerce portion uh, for our shop. Um, but it, just as easily, this could have been a theme from Theme Forest or a lifestyle theme or any any other WordPress theme, free or premium. And the store version could have been uh, the Mistyle theme or any of the WooCommerce specific themes. Um, so that's an important point to make. This process should be the same no matter what theme you're using. So hopefully this helps answer some questions. If you have any questions or comments, the best place to reach us is out on UploadWP.com by posting a comment on this specific tutorial or on any of the WooCommerce tutorials. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Adam, and we'll see you in the next one.